Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be giving this armoire piece a makeover. Um, I purchased this from Wayfair and decided that I just didn't end up wanting to go with the blue color, so I'm painting it. We're gonna try something I've never done before. All right, so my plan is I got this Annie Sloan chalk paint and I got two different colors. Uh, again, I just kind of had to pick them offline. So this one is called um, Chateau Gray, but it obviously has like a greenish gray to it, which is what I want in here. So I also got this one, which is called Old White. Names are so nice, Old White. Uh, this is the one I think I'm gonna use on the piece of furniture in the living room. And this is the one I think I'm gonna use in here because we're going for uh, uh, some of the darker tones in here in our room. Um, now I also, this is besides the point, but I got some, apparently with this chalk paint, you have to seal it. So I got some of the clear wax. And then I had already some of the dark Annie Sloan wax, but I'm tempted to open this and test it over the top. What I'm saying is I don't have a plan. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Um, I've seen that you can mix these paints together and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna test some things. Um, as I understand it, I don't have to sand or strip or do anything to this, but I do think just for eat this my own peace of mind, I am gonna take a little bit of these um, stripping pads and just rough it up a smidge. It already kind of has a beat up appearance and I do wanna keep that. So I may even after the paint dries, like rough it a little bit, but then I don't want the blue to come through. I don't know. And then the hardware, have made no decisions about hardware yet. Um, I ordered the Annie Sloan brush to use. And then I also ordered, I think this is from Amazon, a five piece wax brush set. So I've got multiple brushes to use for the different colors and everything. Let's just see how much, what oh, teeny little one, how cute, how much we can get done. I gotta empty out the armoire. It's really, really, really heavy. So I am not going to attempt to lift it up to put like a paint thing underneath it, uh, like a drop cloth. It's really heavy. I would have to get like a dolly or something in here to be able to do that. So I'm just gonna move stuff out of the way, empty it out, and I'm gonna put down a sheet around it and try not to be messy. That's the best I can hope for. It's too heavy to pick up. All right, so I'm just gonna remove everything from around the space so I can get to it, roll up the rug. Um, like I said, it's a way too heavy of a piece of furniture for me to get anything underneath it um, to protect, to be able to paint. So I'm just gonna have to be very careful. Now, I wanted to explain really quickly that basically when we first bought this house five months ago, I had planned on doing much more of like a French country feel. And as I started decorating that way, I realized that it just wasn't my taste. And I was, I think the reason I was having such a hard time picking out things for the house and moving forward with projects was because it just wasn't my style. And I realized, you know what? Just do what you love. It doesn't matter if it fits into a decorating book um, or you know Pinterest worthy or any of that, just do what you love. So basically now I've got a few pieces of furniture that I still love the piece itself. I still love the functionality and everything and I definitely don't want to get rid of it, but the color scheme doesn't match the direction we're going with the master bedroom. So that is why I'm taking this very light blue, robin's egg blue sort of color um, armoire and moving it into that mossy green um, color scheme. So I still have to do the walls in the master bedroom. Um, we're going to do an accent wall on the back wall. So there's still a complete makeover for the whole bedroom to come. But again, just bite sized projects. This was something I could get done in half a day. And I just have to take advantage of those kind of things when I can do them. All right, so I think what I'm learning is I need to do a very thin coat um, and then I'll come back and do a second coat and make it thicker because on the can it says if you want that distressed look to paint it on really thick and seal it with the wax and then come back after and distress it. But when I paint it on too thick, it doesn't 
stick as well. So everybody, when I asked on Instagram and videos, everybody was like, yep, you don't have to sand it. But I think this might be too, too slickery. We'll see if I can make it work without having to go back in with like a more hardcore sander. Cause I'd like to not have to do that, but we'll see. I'm gonna use this little brush that came in that Amazon kit to get in these cracks a little bit better. I'm eating some licorice and uh, this has been drying for a few hours so I'm going to try to do the wax. So this one says you have to put the clear on first and then put this on. So I'm just going to test them on the top of the armoire so I can see what they look like and decide which uh, wax coating I want to go with. But they are really thick so it says to kind of put them on like a lotion. Think of it like a hand cream and apply it in the same way. Less is more. She headed out on that four o'clock train. Since then, I've been going insane. So I ended up deciding to go with the clear wax. I didn't like the brown. I felt like that was really hard to to work with and it, it distorted the color in a way I didn't like. And even putting the clear wax on, I was kind of starting to get a little bit worried that the piece of furniture was starting to look more gray than green. And I thought, oh no, they weren't kidding when they said Chateau Gray, maybe it's after you add the wax, it turns gray. Um, but that was not the case. It just, obviously you're putting a wax coat on it so it gets a little bit darker. But when it dries, it sort of lands somewhere in between um, that the darker color you're seeing here and the lighter color you're seeing on the left uh, where it hasn't had the wax seal. So uh, I ended up liking it and you'll see, you know, the final result. There is no one more beautiful than you, my love. So then I did go out and dig in my storage to see what I had in terms of spray paint and I did find that I had some matte black paint. Um, so I took those big pulls and just used what I had out in my shed, which was this. 
Um, and I did have a matte clear enamel to sort of seal them with. I knew I didn't want anything shiny. I wanted the finishes to all be matte black. And so I was excited to find that already in my storage unit. I didn't have to go buy anything. Yay. And yes, when you do projects with eight kids and a million animals, I ended up with more goat help than was necessary. <laughs> I did let it fully dry overnight before I went back and added the handles on just to make sure that everything was nice and set. It does have an interesting texture to the top of it with the wax seal. It's it's not a normal cabinet feel. Um, so if I was going to do this on like a kitchen cabinet or something, I think I would use a different sealant um, and not the wax sealant because I do feel like a lot of people touching it like I just can't imagine it would handle that and hold up to that really well over the long term Tracks. 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 